all you crazy people of uh, fire guy gaming back here with another lspdfr tutorial today what we're going to be doing is the automatic siren cutout for your lspdfr game uh, basically what this call out or sorry this plugin does is it <coughs> it uh when you run in your lights and sirens and you're chasing a suspect and you get out of your car your sirens if you don't have this will just stay on now when you get out of the car they'll automatically cut off and the siren won't be sit there blaring the whole time so it's a really cool mod and it, it uh, really brings realism to the game so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up this here we're going to go to lspfr and go to automatic siren cut out 3.1.4 okay we're going to scroll down we're going to download this file agree and download and we want the one that says main file not the old version this is the most updated one it was updated literally 11 hours ago so I'm gonna hit download and like I said before it's gonna bring up like a raw file so you're gonna use like 7-zip or 8-zip or <clears throat> whatever to whatever you shoot you know you choose to download to extract it because you're going to have to extract it to a zip or a regular file. Alright, we're going to close out of this and we're going to extract this file or downloads right here. Hit this and we're going to extract it. takes a while sometimes and there it is we're gonna pull this out here onto our desktop like so close out of this and we're going to need our Grand Theft Auto main directory and once again how we do that we go to file and we go to this PC now mine I always have in my disk drive C. Other people have other hard drives, which I soon will, so I'll have other other ones to put them in. But right now mine's in disk C. You could have another one, but you want to hit where your Grand Theft Auto is installed. So we're going to click on that. Broken Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, and Common. Okay, and there's your Grand Theft Auto. And once again, like always, you want to back up your game file in case this mod makes your game crash and you don't know how to get rid of it. And instead of reinstalling the game that takes six, seven hours, you can just erase this one and go to your backup. Always a great idea, guys. Okay, so uh, we're going to hit Grand Theft Auto. All right, here's our main directory. You always, too, you want to want to keep a, a good like space to drop these in because if one of these are lit up and you drop it in and it goes in there, it's going to go in there and mess your whole game up. You don't want to do that. Okay, so we're going to open up your automatic siren cutout file. And it's got three files in here. Okay, so we're going to go to the README. We're going to open it. I don't, we don't need to, but I figured it helps people to see it. It tells you the installation on what to do. You know, <clears throat> download the GTA folder into where your GTA have installed. Put your GT or the input manager into your DGO folder, use the plugins, exit your vehicle, scroll to EA, the sliding stages, honk your horn, operate manual siren. Experience bugs, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we'll close out of that. really don't need that. So, okay, so we're going to open up Grand Theft Auto file. Okay, so these two files, we're just going to drag and drop in there. So we're just going to get those, grab them, and drop them in here. It's that easy. Place files, and there you go. You've installed automatic siren cutout. We're going to close this and I'm going to go in the game and show you exactly what it does. And here we are back in the game. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do here is we're going to force duty. Um, hey, let's meet up. Let's go ahead and force duty.
Okay, that should be. Wait. All right, and uh, okay. I don't know to do all that. Let's go get a police car. Don't let me in without a car, jeez. Okay, um, we can spawn one, I guess. No, not that way. There's the trainer. Spawn one here. Emergency. Um. Sheriff's cars, the guy you're gonna get crushed. Okay. Ronnie start in his hand. Alright. So what we do with a drink. So if we got all the lights on, we got the siren on, we get out, cuts off. Okay? If you had if you don't have this installed, your siren would still be going. So once again, you know, you get in, you have to turn the siren back on. One, two, three, and sign up for classes such as driving around, pull somebody over, you know. And coming out swinging for beginners. You stop, you gotta haul ass, you jump out, you run. Stop, motherfucker, police, you know. Your siren is a blare, and see how it cut off, and it's just sitting there looking all professional and shit. Look at that taxi, what the fuck was that? Just got fucking hit by a damn train. Fucking, can't believe it. That's how you just want to go around and just shoot every one of these cats in this game because they're stupid. AI is dumb in this. Uh, trust me, nuts. Anyway, like I said, uh, that's it. You know, it's just simple. Uh, turn on and turn off. You don't have to just jump out. It really is a good mod. You know, it's, it's on. Jump out, cuts it off. Now, if you didn't have that mod installed, it would keep just blaring and blaring and blaring, and it would be loud as hell, and you know annoying as hell so that's it that's all i got till next time the next tutorial the next patrol you guys have a good night